Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with our subject computer graphics. So the next topic in the subject is the basic components of the interactive graphics system. So in the previous video, I explained about what exactly the interactive and the non-interactive was. So the non-interactive is a passive and the interactive is an active. So that two terms that you have to be remember that. Okay. So uh, interactive means it's just a communication will be there between the computer and the user. But in the non-interactive, uh, there is no, uh, does not have, the user does not have any kind of control over the system. Okay. So now let's see what are the basic components of the interactive graphic system. The basic components are input, the input or like mouse, tablet and the multi-touching etc. Okay. And uh, processing. That is a storage and for storage. And another component is display. A display is nothing but the output. Display. Or you can call it as an output. So like uh, screen, paper based printers, video recorders. So these are all comes under this basic components of the interactive graphic system because there should be a communication between the user and the computer if there should be a uh, the user has to interact with the input component processing and the output now let me explain you the conceptual framework of interactive graphics let me write that conceptual framework or uh, for interactive graphics interactive graphics so what are the conceptual frameworks for interactive graphics let me draw you this diagram uh, let's take uh, any application database it's a database let's take this is an application database and here uh, one application program will be there let's take one application program application program and still uh, can you can take the graphic library graphic library and uh, another thing is the graphic system or you can call it as a gp gpu graphic system or gpu and the still that remaining that is the system it's a computer okay a computer so here uh, up to graphic library this completely comes under the software and after graphic library this is the hardware part so complete software and the hardware part the software part here the application database and the application programs and the gra uh, graphic library is connected to the hardware system that is a graphic system or the cp gpu and this communicates to the system so here what is exactly this graphic library will do the graphic library be it is between the application program and the display. So this is the display part and this is the application program. So this graphic library is present in between the application program and the display unit that is a display hardware. Uh, so there is a, a graphic library and the application program will be there. So here the application program, it maps all application objects. So this application program is going to map all application objects Two images by involving uh, by invoking the graphics so that's why it's a two-way communication what this application program is doing it maps all application objects to images by invoking the graphics and whatever this graphic system that is present in between the uh, display unit and as well as the graphic library so it's an, acting as an interface that interacts between the graphics and the uh, hardware part so this is a conceptual framework for interactive graphics. Thank you.